Hey guys, Coach Gaglione here. This is another edition of our Gag Goals Update. If this is uh, your first time stopping by, I'm Coach Gaglione. I've been uh, involved in powerlifting going on 13 years now, as well as, well as coaching. Uh, I've been in business going on eight years. I own Gaglione Strength here in Long Island, New York. And I'm just kind of chronicling my kind of weight loss and strength journey. Uh, I've been as heavy as 340 pounds. Uh, at the time of this taping, I have uh, about 235. Uh, this is our Road to 198 series, and as I kind of uh, mentioned before, uh, if you've been kind of following along my weight loss journey, I did a slingshot record breakers, I did a meet at 220. Um, unfortunately, I ended up uh, kind of bombing on the bench, but I did have a pretty good result in the squat and a pretty good result in, in the deadlift, uh, just narrow, narrowly missing my third attempts. Um, ended up hurting my shoulder pretty good, so, but that being said, things have been a uh, excuse me, on the up and up, uh, shoulders basically back to 100%, knock on wood. And uh, I'm just gonna kind of chronicle my journey on the road to uh, get back to 198. Uh, 198 is the class I kind of started my powerlifting journey uh, back in 2006. Um, so um, that was when my first meet was 2006, started kind of powerlifting training kind of at the end of 2005 when I kind of graduated high school. So started out very young, started out coaching people very young, uh, got into this, kind of this industry very young, but Anyway, that's a story for another day. Just want to kind of give you guys some background. If it is your first time listening, your first time watching. Um, so things have been kind of going really well. Uh, I'm going to definitely talk about my deadlift workout for that was uh, that I did today, but I also want to kind of recap my uh, my competition at the Super Training Classic in Sacramento. Uh, last year at the Super Training Classic, I just went to help. I did a little commentating. It helped kind of set up uh, breakdown and load uh, for the guys at Super Training Gym. And, if you guys know any, of my, you know, kind of a background story, I kind of I was at uh, Mark Bell and Jesse Burdick's first seminar in New Jersey at Zach Evanesh's gym at the Underground Strength Gym uh, in Edison, which is no more. Uh, Zach only has his, like, his gym in uh, Manasquan now, and he's doing some other things. But uh, that was kind of uh, where we met at the first time, and have kind of Mark and uh, his family have been good friends ever since. Um, so uh, you know, this year I decided to kind of throw my hat in and uh, do the contest itself. Um, I wanted to kind of just do it kind of for fun, uh, but at the same token, I also wanted to kind of use it as a way to kind of also kind of bring up some weak areas. Uh, so I ended up, ended up doing the slingshot division. I did the push pull with the slingshot, uh, and I elected to do the deadlifts conventional. Uh, so as I've kind of lost weight, uh, the sumo deadlift has been feeling much better. Uh, the conventional deadlift has been a little bit of a struggle since I don't have the kind of the stopping power for my belly kind of pushing against up off my quads. Uh, so my strength off the floor is definitely. Uh, my, you know, gotten a lot weaker, and uh, my sticking point has uh, changed dramatically. When I was when I was super heavyweight, my sticking point was at the very last inch of lockout, I and mean, it was very, very explosive off the floor. Uh, my best conventional deadlift all time, uh, I did 635 for a double um, when I was super heavyweight, and I've done 625 actually in a contest. Um, so, you know, I'm a ways away from my all-time best strength, especially conventional. Uh, so I kind of wanted to bring that up, and as I mentioned before. I also, uh, like I said, I dinged up my shoulder in November, so I wanted to kind of use this uh, meet as a, as a way to kind of build up my, my raw bench and build up my slingshot bench uh, to kind of help transition me back into some equipped uh, training. And again, for those of you guys, that, uh, if it's your first time watching, uh, my next meet will be in April. I'll be doing Power Palooza and RPS meet in New York, Pennsylvania. Uh, and I'll be do, uh, doing this meet. Uh, I decided to kind of stay at the 220 class because I want to get a total in the 220 class before I move down uh, to the 198 class. Uh, so I'm going to kind of try to keep my body weight somewhere between 230 and 235. Uh, I was 235 on this day. Uh, at the Super Training Classic, I actually weighed in at 228. Just did like a little bit of a fast, uh, just to kind of, you know, you know, I've been kind of toying with some fasting here and there. But, but anyway, that's kind of one of the reasons why I uh, entered the Super Training Classic. I wanted to kind of bring up my weak points a little bit, so I wanted to bring up my conventional deadlift. Uh, I didn't really kind of do any special program or peaking for this cycle. Um, the heaviest I went and uh, I did is 385 for a triple. Uh, in the slingshot bench, um, didn't go past 385, and again, most of my training was raw, and like I said, I was able to kind of get my bench up to 315 for a couple of reps raw, uh, which is the most I've done since my injury, so again, nothing earth shattering there. Um, I'd like to get my kind of raw bench back up to around 400 pounds, uh, like it was when I was heavier, uh, but it's a, it's a good starting point, especially from coming back from a shoulder injury. Uh, so things are kind of moving along there. Uh, for the deadlift, um, the most I did, uh, I did like you know 495 a couple of times, and I did 520 uh, for a very, 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 very slow uh, set of five with straps, not even strapless. And the most weight I actually did without straps, uh, conventional this cycle was 495. 
So I wasn't really sure like what I was going to do for the contest. Uh, I came in with very low expectations. I decided to open really light. Uh, Emilio, one of the members at Super Training Gym, helped me kind of warm up a little bit and helped me uh, kind of get ready and hand me off on the bench. I'm very grateful for him and I'm very grateful for everyone at Super Training Gym uh, for putting on a great show. Uh, one thing I kind of want to mention, if you are in the Sacramento area or you are in the West Coast, I definitely highly recommend you guys check out Super Training Gym, check out uh, the Super Training Classic and any other meets that they're involved with, like the Slingshot Record Breakers meet that Jesse Burdick holds. Uh, if you're in the Dublin, California area, definitely check out, if you're near San Jose, definitely check out uh, Combat Sports Academy by Jesse Burdick. They're just great people. They want to run great events. And what I really love about the Super Training Classic is you have people like Dr. Baker and Chris Bell and Mark Bell. Uh, I met Luke Hawks for the first time. Uh, he's a great, he's like a pro wrestler and actor. Um, you may have seen him uh, die a couple of times. He was in like uh, the movie Logan, for example. And just people from all different walks of life, like you had Charity Witt and these other kind of more celebrity people like Ben Alderman. Uh, all these different people, you had like a pro golfer and, and all these people kind of all on the platform together, all kind of sharing the same goal of trying to be as strong as possible and just trying to use strength as a means to get better. Uh, and I think we need more meets like that to kind of help drive the sport forward and help expose more people to strength training and the benefits of strength training. And that's what kind of like our podcast and like my first book is called Powerlifting for the People. And that's really one of, you know, Mark Bell's message is, you know, making the world a better place to lift. And we say like powerlifting for the people. It's kind of a very similar kind of vision and message. And we want to uh, help expose as many people to powerlifting as possible. So that was one of the reasons why I wanted to be part of the meet. I was very grateful to be share the platform with guys like Mark Bell and Chris Bell and a host of other uh, just amazing people. Uh, it was a really cool experience. And uh, again, they're, just, uh, they're a great team. And we're trying to emulate on the East Coast what Mark's doing on the West Coast as far as from a team aspect. Even though our businesses are very different and you know what Mark's doing is on a whole other level than what we're doing, uh, we definitely want to kind of replicate that community feel and that team vibe. Uh, that's something that's very important to us. And I think if you haven't experienced it before, uh, I highly, again, recommend you check out some of those meets. If you are on the East Coast, you should definitely check out gaglionstrength.com and click on the events tab. Uh, you know, we have different, we have actually a deadlift contest. If you want to stop by at our gym, uh, if, you're in the, if you're in the area, you can stop by around, you know, 9, 30, 10 o'clock. Uh, we also have a meet, uh, June 15th, the Summer Showdown meet. So we're going to try to also create events to kind of expose, uh, like, the newer lifter to their first contest and deliver them a great experience. So you can definitely check out the links below. Uh, if you are in the area and you want to check out those events, and if you're in the, on the West Coast area, you should definitely check out some of the meets run by Kara Weston or Jesse Burdick. Um, they're fantastic events, and I highly recommend them, and definitely check out Super Training Gym. So, uh, like I kind of mentioned before, uh, after I kind of got on this little bit of a tangent, uh, I kind of went in with very low expectations. I opened very light. Uh, I believed on the bench, I just opened somewhere around uh, like 375 or 385, whatever the kilo numbers are. I jumped to something around probably like 402 or 407, uh, and then I went for 418 for my final attempt, which is the most I've done, um, definitely at this body weight, the most I've done in a very long time. Uh, even though it's nothing earth shattering, it's progress for me, so I'm happy about that, especially with all the weight loss being up down over 100 pounds. The deadlift was really a big question mark. Um, originally, I actually had set my opener to only 440, uh, but I liked it. Everything was kind of feeling good in the warm-ups. I kind of brought my stance a little, a little bit in. Uh, for those that are going through a weight loss journey, just realize that your leverages are going to change. Uh, your trunk size, your belly size is going to really affect uh, your stance quite a bit. So I was actually able to bring my stance in a little bit uh, closer and to kind of artificially create a little bit more tightness and allow me to kind of uh, have a little bit more stiffness kind of getting in the bottom position. So it'll help my start quite a bit. That was very helpful. Um, so I ended up opening around 474, which was honestly more of a warm-up than anything else. Uh, I jumped to 518, and the reason I did 518, because that was the heaviest weight I did in training, was around 520. Made a big jump uh, to 573, and actually that felt pretty comfortable. Um, and so I was very happy with the results there. Uh, the, when I was, like I said, when I was deadlifting over 600 conventional, uh, that allowed me to deadlift, uh, you know, north of 660 and 700 in the gym. So I know if I can get my conventional deadlift back up over 600, I think that uh, hitting that 700 mark uh, sumo is definitely in the card. So that, that was a real confidence booster for me. Uh, and it was really cool to kind of do that. And like Stan Efforting was the head judge. So it was cool to kind of do it in front of him. So all in all, it was a great, great meet. And I uh, always enjoy my uh, friends and uh, just hanging out on the West Coast. It's a really great time. So uh, that was kind of our super training uh, classic kind of recap. Uh, the good part, that was the good part, some of the bad things, I did kind of get off my diet a little bit here and there. Uh, 
when, when I was with Sean Baker and Chris Bell, I was eating pretty good, uh, but there was some instances where I kind of cheated a little bit, a little bit more than I'd like, uh, eating some different foods. Uh, and then the following weekend, I actually was um, coaching my, my boy Garrison, if you're familiar with some of our, uh, our uh, Instagram content, other content, Garrison, he's a, he has a spinal, spinal cord injury, unfortunately. Uh, he did his first power bench press competition. He did really well. He benched uh, 273 pounds. Uh, weighing under 130 pounds at over a double bodyweight bench and qualified for the world championships. Uh, so really, really amazing stuff. He's doing well. But again, since I was kind of traveling a lot, I kind of went off the diet a little bit. Uh, but I'm kind of back on track. So uh, going, uh, I wanted to kind of s s kind of stay with, uh, you know, my, my business coach, kind of Paul Reddick says sometimes when you're, when you're talking about business or kind of weight loss or strength training, uh, you want to kind of think like a shark. So a shark has to continue to kind of swim forward or else it dies. Sometimes it will circle, sometimes it will kind of explode and go for the kill, but it's always moving and it's always moving forward even if it's kind of creeping. Uh, so I think that's kind of a really good analogy, especially for people that are kind of struggling with weight loss or diet, exercise, or strength training. You never want to kind of stop completely because really, you really can't really maintain. You're either going to be going forwards or you're going to go on backwards. So I know even with myself, uh, even though I want to try to maintain my body weight, I still want to kind of diet a little bit going into this contest because I don't want to fall too far behind and get too complacent. Uh, so I'm definitely going to tighten up my diet moving forward and then if I need to like, kind of add in a cheat day here and there, I'll kind of adjust as needed but I want to continue to kind of build those good habits and not kind of fall uh, back into old habits because I certainly was kind of doing that a little bit while I was on, uh, when I was away. Uh, so I think that's kind of an important thing. So think about a shark, you're always kind of moving forward. As you kind of approach your goal, you can obviously, you know, you know like a shark smell blood in the water, you can be a little more aggressive. But I think it's always important to kind of move forward and not kind of stop completely because that's when you kind of fall uh, behind. So just like a little bit of tip, uh, you know, something I kind of need to remind myself of because uh, I was kind of, you know, <laughs> joking with Elvis that I was kind of uh, abusing the, um, the the free breakfast buffet a little bit and I was kind of eating some stuff that I didn't normally eat and my weight actually shot up at one point one day and I know it was just bloated in water but I was as heavy as like 240 at one point which is, you know, to me it's unacceptable uh, at this point. Um, I'd like to continue to stay to under 235 uh, moving forward. So anyways, that's the super training recap. I also want to kind of recap uh, the deadlift workout for today and then we'll kind of kind of move forward uh, no with our normal schedule, uh, with our kind of gag goals updates and my training updates. Uh, so today, again, I uh, had a lot of travel going on. I've been kind of really stressed with work, with travel. We have the Arnold coming up. It's been not really, training has not been ideal. I had to kind of train at an anytime fitness where I almost put like a power rack through like a, <laughs> a glass mirror. So things have not been like great, but I'm kind of just doing the best I can uh, and just getting my training when I can. Uh, and I just kind of scheduled all my heavy workouts when I'm home. Uh, so if nothing else, at least I know I have those heavy days when I have help uh, and I have our team around me, so that's great. So if things have not been ideal, but again, things are usually never ideal, right? So you just got to kind of roll up the punches sometimes. But anyway, today went really well. Uh, warm ups felt great. I felt like my starting position was the best it has been for the sumo deadlift in quite some time. Uh, worked up to like a last warm up of a 565. Uh, and then I uh, wanted to kind of do, I want to try to open with around 600 pounds this contest. So I did a, a more comfortable 605. The last student workout I did I had, had a very, very slow 600. So I was happy that 605 was comfortable this time. Uh, and then I kind of worked up to kind of around what would be like a projected uh, second attempt or so. So I definitely want to kind of, again, open in the high 500s or low 600s for my, for my opener. And then I want to kind of get to something in the mid 600 range. Um, so I did 635. And 635 is a really cool number because it's actually a 20 pound gym PR. Even though I have done a little bit more in contests in the past two years, uh, it's the most I've done in the past two years in the gym. Uh, so that's very, very, that's a huge confidence booster, especially uh, since, um, so I'm definitely ahead of schedule on the deadlift, so I'm very happy about that. Uh, so that was a big confidence booster. Um, and then I did a 665, which uh, with a reverse monster mini, which should be around a planned third attempt uh, for the contest. I'll continue to try to work those numbers up. And the reason why I'm trying to do something a little bit above 660 with the reverse bands, uh, 660 at 220 would be about a triple body weight deadlift was one of my bucket list goals. I want to achieve a triple body weight deadlift this contest. Uh, that would be a really fantastic third attempt for me. So I want to try to pull uh, just whatever I weigh in at. I would like to try to pull triple body weight this contest. Uh, that's definitely something that I have my sights on. So I was very happy. Uh, that was actually very comfortable as well. Uh, then I did some downsets with using the Squat Buddy, which uh, from Spud Inc. 
Uh, I've been liking to use that for some kind of my raw training, but still supporting my hips. Uh, I use between five, uh, 475 and 485 for some of my block pulls. And then I actually use the Spud Inc. Uh, front squat harness to do some good mornings on the belt squat machine, uh, which we'll probably do another video to see, uh, just maybe talking about different variations and exercises you could do on the belt squat, some different attachments you could do. Because I found that was a very, very, uh, very beneficial way to do some good morning. So that was kind of the workout for today. I'm very happy to hit, like, uh, again, 635 uh, is a huge gym PR for me, and it's a huge PR at this body weight. It's, again, giving me confidence. I can work back towards getting to that 700 range once again. I still have never done 700 in a contest, so that's definitely also a long-term long goal of mine. So all in all, things are good. Uh, things are never going to be easy. I have a lot of travel coming up. One of my guys is getting married. I have a lot of seminars I'm going to be attending to just learn. So um, I'm kind of spinning a lot of plates. I'm juggling a lot of balls at once, uh, but that's life. You just got to make the best of it. So uh, hope you guys you know enjoyed this episode. Thank you guys for watching. I know that was a lot. But want, there was a lot of good stuff to recap. So hope you guys got something out of it. If you did and you want to get more future content, please subscribe for future updates. Definitely check out the links below if you want more information about coaching or any other services that we offer. Uh, and until next time, guys, thank you so much and stay strong. And we'll see you soon.